Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm back today to share this little project. This is an Altoids tin. Um, in my last couple of videos, I was I've been working on Altoid tins, or um, I got mine from the Bottle Cap Company. I'm pretty sure I'll put the link. I keep forgetting to. Um, I don't. Yeah, like this one actually I got from um, Michaels. This is a like a. I think it's. Um, it's a little mini album inside, but I forget the brand. Anywho, use an Altoid tin. They're, you know, you get your Altoids, you, you recycle the tin, it's awesome. So this is my latest one that I did. And I just wanted to, I shortened the video somewhat, and I just wanted to come on and um, do a little intro. So when, when it starts, when the tutorial starts, I will have already covered the tin with the clay. And if you want to see how I did that, just go back, back to my previous video because when I did this one I showed you how I did the whole thing um, but I, I cut out bits and pieces of it just to try and shorten the video a little bit uh, because I think when I'm figuring it out along the way if I haven't made the project before like this one probably would have went along much quicker because I knew where I was going with it I had a, a much better idea um, but these I'm just figuring it out as I go and I um, I decided to use a mold for this one, so I used this little mold. This is called, it's by Polyform. Um, I don't know what it's called. Wait, sometimes it's on the side. Nope. But I had this, I've, I've done projects previously with this, and um, I wanted to make an angel. I had these cool wings. Um, so I hope you like, I think I like her. I antiqued her. And I like it. It's very um, kind of artifacty looking, right? It looks like an artifact, an ancient artifact. So I really like her. The thing is, though, I also did this one. Um, this is based on this. And being the black background, I put uh, mica powders in the background a little bit. And you can see, I mean, it's very shimmery, but I don't love it as much as I love this one. You know, I mean, it's a different look. I think if I'd have used yellows instead of, you know, if I'd have, and this is um, Inca Gold. It's a metallic rub, like a waxy rub, and I just rubbed that on the purple. So, I mean, it's, you know, it says hope, and there's a little dragonfly. And then this one, I did similarly with the similar colors I just used purple and I don't like how it looks when I antique it the flowers get all dingy looking and that's what happened with this one too I mean this one I think I, I like a bit better because it has the lighter background I think that you have to stick with a light background um, when you do it but I may just take this all off I glued this little um, I guess it's a martini glass but it, it seems washed out. Like it doesn't, it's not as, you know, and this one I don't love as much either. Um, this, like I have to say, this is just my favorite. Kiwi's calling me, my birdie. I just like the cleaner colors on when I do the applique technique. So, um, anywho, this video is about this little angel. All right, and here it comes. Okay, I found some... Primo um, beige, or what's it called? Beige. So I'm using that. I'm going to use that. I should have done it, but I want to, I'll do the mold. I found some, thank you, Mary Allen. Mary Allen so nicely sent me a box of clay. Just that she wasn't going to be using and knew that I would use it. And I've actually, this is where I got the purple from, my souffle. Anyway. I found this is called Jewelry Gold. I'm going to use that for the halo, and I'm going to use the white pearl for her dress. Um, I've got out a couple cookie cutters. Sorry, my brain. And you know what? I never put any texture on here, so I want to texturize this a little bit. I'm going to use this as a texture sheet by... I'm pretty sure this is a Lisa Pavelka, and it's called Tooled Leather, and it's kind of like a florally pattern, but 
but I just really like it. Um, and so this is it. I'm going to do it. Hmm. I don't know. Let me think. I don't know. Because, see, it's on the background of this. I like it. I'm going to do it. All right, now I have to decide if I want to do it this way, just push down. I think that would be the easiest. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to use this section right here. I'm just going to put pressure. Actually, I can open it and really push this way. Hopefully, it'll make an impression. And I can always cover the tin again. We haven't done anything yet. I have to remember that I have to pick up Maya in about an hour. So now I have to gently. Good. I got some texture on there. very subtle. And all right, now. So for her halo, I'm going to use this gold and I'm going to roll it out to probably a pretty thin. So this is like a number 9 on my pasta machine. All not all pasta machines number system is the same. This is pretty much the thinnest. And I'm going to use either one of these circle cookie cutters. Um, I probably should have made my face first, but I think it's going to be, we'll do one of each. What the heck, right? I think the, I think the big one's going to be too big, but we'll set those aside. And this is just going to be like the aura, the halo aura. I'm going to use this piece of Primo Beige, and it's a much stiffer clay, so hopefully this won't give me too much of a problem. And I was thinking of trying this one, too. This one has a little bit of a bigger forehead, and I thought I might make, so I'm going to flatten it out a little. Um, no, I'm not. I'm just going to make it into a ball. Put a little bit of dust in there. Gotta cut away the excess. I can tell this is so much firmer than the other, than the Sculpey clay. So I'm good. I'm gonna, this isn't gonna just be easy to mess up, which I do. I put my fingers in it. So hopefully, I'm just trying to turn these edges so that it looks uniform. And hopefully this is a pretty face. Oh, I just pulled it up a little, so let's go. Ah, you know what the difference is? These eyes are open. I like the closed eyes better. I'm gonna do the closed eyes. Sorry guys. I just want it to be closed eyes. So we're going to go with this one. And I didn't put the dust in there. It's a little bit extra clay cuz this had this needed more clay, so too much. I, I have to cut it off. I'm just being a little bit of a perfectionist there. There we go. Now if it just comes out, yes. And it's nice and smooth. I'll use that one. So let's see which halo 
think this one's going to be big enough. I don't think I want to go that big. Um, although, let's definitely make sure. That looks pretty too, though. I think I like the big one. I'm not pushing too hard. I just want to see. I think I like the big one. I don't know. And that's a little off center. Huh. And if I put my wings. Yeah, I think it just pushes it down too far. So let's put, I'm going to put the smaller one. See here, Kiwi, she's with me. What do you want? I'm making something. Do you have to go potty? Is that what you're telling me? See how I... It's a, it's, I can't get it to center. Here, go potty. Go ahead. Do you have to go? I'm just eyeballing it, but for some reason, see, and then it sticks to me. I think that's as centered as I'm going to get it. Gotta figure out, I think I was gonna use this heart to do the, um, and this, you know what, this silver might look super good as the dress. I think I'm gonna do a silver dress. Um, I think I have some out here. See, I try to be so prepared and then I just change my mind. Um, I'm prepared. All right, so I'm gonna put this through the pasta machine just like I did on that thinnest setting. I'm gonna cut a heart out of it, and I'm gonna use this as my body. Um. I'm going to put a neck with um, the beige clay. Does that look? That looks too small because it should have shoulders. You know what I'll do? I'll do it the opposite way. OMG, what was I thinking? Watch this. If I do it like this, this is like going to give the neck area and little shoulders. Maybe a bigger heart. I don't know, I kind of like that. The wings would actually be behind her body. But I think I could just do it like stylized like that. I think that looks really cool. Nothing's in stone. Uh, I haven't pushed that down.
I'm making the neck. I'm going to just cut it like flattish on the top. No, oh, that's backwards. I did it backwards. I want it to be that way. I'm just narrowing it. <laughs> Getting a small piece of clay. Now here's what I'm thinking. Right? Like that. That's what I want to do. And then cut the neck. So crooked. the shortest little neck I ever saw. Doesn't really need a neck because, you know, it is a stylized. It's a little wide. like ears. I think I should give her some ears. I'm not putting ears. I'm getting crazy. Getting a little crazy. But see, the ideas just come in my head and I just think about it as I'm going. All right, so I kind of like that. It's not set in stone. I think I like the way the wings are just, they're not even, that bothers me, because this is like over. Now, how could I make arms? See, it should have just went like this. I like, I think I'm going to do that. I like the idea of it just being, I like this neck though. Um, I'll just do it with my own shape. It doesn't look even, but... Why does she have no shoulders? Should have sketched out my design first, right? So, really, she has to have shoulders, and that's driving me crazy. So her neck would come down here. Then she would have a shoulder, and then it would come down. That's very wide, but I kind of like it. And then we could just put like a v-neck 
I'm a v-neck fan. I love a good v-neck. Alright, so now let's see what this could be like. Oh, that's much better. Much more proportionate, right? Not perfect though, but proportionate. Much more proportionate. Don't you love the silver clay? It's so sparkly. So now she needs a neck. So I definitely got to put a neck. That looks so much better. Just makes me feel like, yeah, okay. I don't know what I was thinking. So I gotta give her a neck. I'm not really in the shot, am I, guys? I'm gonna pull it a little forward, my camera. All right. So. Can you see this? See how this goes. I'm going to have to scoop it a little. <laughs> now our neck's way too long. I kind of like it though, but I'm going to make it a little shorter. Imagine if this was Sculpey. Oh man, it would be sticking so much. I'm going to have to fix it. Is that too long? I think it looks good. Let me see if it's too long. Nope, I think it's good. So I'm pushing, I'm going to push all this down get some adhesion. Um, I don't want to use this big one. See I mess up the texture when I do this. Like um, I just made a bunch of texture in her neck that I really didn't want to do but I wanted to push it down. And I want to connect it to the dress. Is my head in the way? All right, I got it. I'm going to see, do I want it? I might bring the silver all the way down. And I can always, like, it's not going to the end of the blue, but I might just put a, like, a, a different something there, like a, um, a bead of clay or something. But that's good. I'm liking it. I have this um, chalk and I think I'm going to put a little pink cheek on her like this peachy color pink. See what happens. I'm going to put a little bit of like a, maybe I'll use this green on her eyelid. No, the purple. I have like a, a really soft purple. Can't really see it. It's 
it's not showing up. A little bit. It might be a little too much, but I like it. Um, what else did I want to do? So I'm going to put some gems in her halo. I think I got, oh no, that's just purple. So let's put her wings back and see. Yeah, they're not actually, um, I have two other wings that are bigger. I don't know. Here they are. These might actually look good. I'm going to just break off the, um, the bail. These came in a set of two, two different sizes. So, um, just trying the bigger ones. See if they look better proportionately. I think they actually do. I think I like the bigger. Like, here's the smaller one. I think the bigger one definitely looks better. But that's me. I like it. I like the bigger wings. Um, I don't like that it's not attached, but it is kind of just, all right. Then the other thing we could do is like an arm separation, right? But I think I'm going to use a small stylus. So she has like flowing arms on her um, dress. I put a little hole there. Um, so I can decorate this. Um, I think I'm going to push down the wings. And like I said in my previous video, although, wait, let me see if I want to. See, it has to be behind her. I, I kind of want to lift up her shoulders and see if I can slip this under. Let's just see. what that would look like. Looks kind of weird because it's not, um, you know, I do have clay wings. I'll show you. Uh, I have stamps and I have a mold, a mold for wings, which I thought I had out here. But it's way too big, I'm pretty sure. The mold I have, um, Anywho, I think I'm going to use these, and I'm just going to, I don't like it, on, I like it under, but I don't, I can't, it can't be under. We're going to do it on top, and it's just going to be stylized, like, I don't know, you know, it's, it's art, what can I tell you, it's not realistic. Um, just bugs me. 
because it would be coming from behind her, you know? <sighs> We're just going to do it this way. I was going to think about doing a little swirl of hair or something, um, or some type of a decorative on her forehead type thing, but let me put these little gems in her halo. There's so much more you could do to this, guys. It's just so fun. Clay, that's why I say, clay is such a versatile medium. Um, I want to... Let me see. These are pearl, etch and pearl it's called, the etch and pearl tools. I'm just going to set down a circle with the smallest one. not even. Why can't I ever make it even? Probably would have been better off just putting them on. Like that one's way too far away. I probably should have pushed them down before I put the next one because they might be too close to each other. But I'm going to... um arrange them with the pencil. <clears throat> I have a pencil and a nice eraser, a nice flat eraser to push them into place. These gems are worth every penny. I love bling and these have A, B, so it's got a coating on it. Oops, I just <laughs> mashed my halo. Be gentle, don't be me. That's good. Her neck, her neck's fine. I think I want to do um, some trim on her dress. So I'm thinking I'm going to do that with some white. And I'm just going to roll it. Yesterday I used my um, extractor or my, oh I can't think of the name of it. But I'll just do it old school with my fingers. Extruder. It's called an extruder, not an extractor. Um, and it just pushes the clay out in a little um, nice, concise um, tube or any shape, really. But I'm going to put this here for a little collar. And you can um, make little marks in this. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put kind of gave it some texture. 
I'm going to do the same thing along this bottom edge. Just crushed. I just crushed my snake. What else? I I like this. There's no texture on her dress, and I do like things to have texture. Is this long enough? Kiwi, she's biting my ear a little bit. Why are you biting my ear? Kind of going over the lip a little bit. I'm going to see if I can just trim it. I probably should trim it and it's going to take most of it off. Not really. Yeah. It's still there. Sorry, I did that whole thing. Oh man. It's because I'm zoomed in. I could do like polka dots or something. But I think simple is nice. Um, I'm going to make a little bit of texture in the background. Like stars. Like I'll do a couple big ones. And I think I'll use... Should I use yellow or... I could just use this white, I think. Kind of make it like a starry sky. These are a little bit more planet size. some blues some of these blues and purples gotta do it and basically that's it I think oh I was gonna try and do a little swirl something for hair and I have this pretty color probably like a burnt sienna or something I think I don't know see how I did this that's what I was thinking of doing like just coming down, maybe filling in these spots with little swirls. That's what I want to do. That's a good idea. All right. So, got to make a snake. I didn't condition this, but it's just been sitting on my desk. And... I don't think I'm going to make a swirl on her forehead like I thought I was. I'm just going to start at the bottom here. I think I need it a little thinner. That is thin. Oh, maybe it's too thin. I think it's a little too thin. 
try and tap it down in the corner and then just start winding it around itself. No, nope, I want it centered. So let me take this in one hand and direct it to the center. Now which way do I want it to curl? The other way. And once you get it started, it will be easier. Hey Kiwi. Did I say easy? It's not easy. It's just, well it is easy. It's tedious though. So I am going to wrap around a couple more times. sticking to my finger, it's sticking to the clay. And I think this is the last, that could be the last time actually. I'm going to cut it because I can just, I just can, it's easier for me to start at the bottom. And I'm going to push that down. I like it though. I think it adds just enough Probably not proportionate. I have to go turn on the fan. This morning I had to turn the heat on. Um, wearing long sleeves. I'm so confused, Spring. Confusing me. But, um, yeah, New Jersey, it poured rain today. Poured. And it's actually not raining at the moment. So this time I want this to go opposite way. So let me get my ball tool, poke it, oops, poke it. So just get it stuck and then you can kind of wind it around itself. So she says, right? Is that enough? That could be enough. And then just cut it. Ugh! I didn't cut it. So, I mean, I think that's good. It's just, and I think I might put one swirl at the top. I got this really thin, like on her forehead. I'll make a second Well, that's cool. I don't think I love it, this little part. Oh, well, that's good. Could have been cleaner.
I think I'll do the same thing down the other side. You can actually see like the two layers of hair. That's pretty funny. And then just I kind of want to put that something on her eyelids that's a little darker. I think I'm going to go with this. I used this light purple. I'm going to go with the dark purple and see if that shows up. Getting her hair. See, that's why I should have done it before that. Maybe I'll use a Q-tip might be a little easier to direct it. Oh boy. Now it's way too dark. Did not mean to do that. Oh boy. After all that work you don't want to do that. But you know what I can do is just take another color and go on top of it. I mean actually I'm going to go over it with the peach. Uh, maybe the light purple. It doesn't look horrible. I'm gonna I'm not gonna panic. I think we're good. I'm gonna push these down a little bit because I hadn't really impressed them into the clay. And um, oops, see right here where I've I've grabbed the lid and it's smushed. Oops. Smushed. This is what happens with me because I'm but you know you can always just make sure before you bake it that you go around and you tweak it and change anything you don't like because once you bake it you're done. So I'm going to put a couple of purple dots in the sky using a little bit of a smaller stylus. But that's a pretty big ball of clay. I just use my little fingernail and just make a little ball of clay and I'm going to put it in those little holes and then press it down with the end of my stylus. A lot of time my balls of clay are oval so I'm trying to find the roundest side of it when I put it in the hole but or the little pointy end. Um, I need another white one over here, and that will make that look even. She's cute though. Like, I didn't know what was going to happen. You guys can tell that, right? You can see when I start out, I have no clue what I'm doing. Purple. Now I'm just making little dots. Um, I could put a few little yellow maybe. I have this bright, bright yellow. Well, that has green on it. So, yeah, I mean, I just, whatever happens, happens. That's the thing. When you're creating, unless you've done it many, many times, 
I don't know where I'm going with it or what's going to happen or, you know, I mean, it's all what I'm in the mood for that day. And what tools I have around me help too. Whatever inspires me that day. You know, I saw those wings and thought, and then I know, I'm like, yeah, I have a mold that I can use for a face. And then I find this, I run and go find this. And I'm like, yeah, I remember I did that before. And so this time I just wanted to change it up a little bit. And uh, because I've been doing the stained glass with the halos, I've made little angels out of stained glass. I made a halo this time and the wings, it just turned into an angel. And I love the, the idea of angels. I'm not religious. I don't practice any faith, any specific religion. Um, but I, for some reason, really love the idea of angels, of um, fairies, and I don't know, I like that idea. But angels are re usually known as um, a spiritual being, but uh, I just think, I hope there are angels, but I don't know. If, if there's angels, then there's demons. That's the only problem. <laughs> and I don't like believing in demons. So, all right. Now, what could I do to her outfit that would... Uh, I don't know what to do sometimes. Let me think. See, I have all these lot more different gems. I have tons of them. You know what I have is these little flower shapes. These are metal. But they're too big. Like if I was thinking if I just put a few on there, it would look like she had little flowers on her dress. Um, a lot of these gems are very big. I have some little tiny blue ones like this, but these are blue and brown. But what would I, it's too hard to make like a concentric ooh I have words like maybe I'll just put a word down here love oh, I gotta do that I think I gotta do that like it's a necklace you know she could be wearing a necklace like see I have um, let me see See, now is when I just start rummaging through and whatever, see, I have this, like, it. this is, see, I think this is more of a, oh, here's a, just a big blue gem. That could be a necklace. But I have, um, oh, look, I have a lock and a key. I don't think that works. What was I going to say? Oh, I have these, like, but see, is this, like, an evil eye? Plus, it's not silver. But that's some type of a, like, are you pooping? Of a religious thing, I think. I'm not sure. I think it's more like a Buddhist type religion. So, I'm confusing. I'm mixing up all my religions. Um, I have, I think, I think love is going to go there. Because, I, I mean, I have so much, you guys. Like, I'm talking... You know, you know what I have. Tons and tons and tons that I could put there, like a butterfly. Oh, this little crystal butterfly. But he's gold again. I have the word joy. See, this little crystal butterfly, I just want him to be silver. Man, that's cute, though. Um, I gotta save my dragonflies. I have, I love dragonflies. Oh, I have a flower. I like this flower. That's cute. It's very simple. Um, so I am going to bake this at, I'm going to repeat that, when you bake polymer clay, 
you follow the directions on the packaging. See, I have this little leaf gem. There are so many options you could do. Anywho, ooh, and I have like stuff like this, which is just a flat back pearl. And I probably wouldn't, oops, bake this because it's probably not glass or it's, and there is a chance that it could um, melt or distort. So I probably wouldn't use that. But anything that's metal or glass, you can use. Um, I'm going to bake this, ooh, excuse me, according to the packaging. So 275 for 30 minutes, okay, per quarter inch. But I mean, her face is actually definitely a quarter inch, so I may bake this for a little longer this time because um, just in case, I want to make sure it gets all the way through the whole piece. I'm just going to take off this um, bale off of Joy. That's not going to be easy. i got to cut that one. But uh, that's it, you guys. you got to recycle your Altoid tins. Love and Joy. I think we're going to put that on there and that flower. Ow, Kiwi, right in my ear. That is so cute. But I don't think I'm done. I think I still want to add a few more things to the sky. I think her face looks cute enough. When I antique it, I don't know. See, I didn't antique this one at all. Hmm. All right, I'm going to go back and make my final decision. All right, I'll be back. Okay. I added a little bit more hair on the top. I just put a couple more swirls. And I think I'm good. I've pushed down the metal. My bird here is be talking. I've pushed these in. I'm probably going to pop them out when I bake it. I'm going to bake it, but... Um, I am going to add a little texture to her outfit. I'm going to use this. It's called Checks. And I'm just going to take it and, let's see. I'm going to press. See, I really think it's too big. I want something really small. Um... Like, I don't even know what to do. I'd like to make an impression of some type. So, I mean, I could do, you know, little hearts. I think the hearts. I'm going to put a couple little hearts. And it smushed a little, but I think it's there. I think it's, you know... Put a couple on this side. And that's it. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to bake it. Um, let make sure that there's no real damage. I fixed here. It got really smushed. See, I just smushed it again. But I think that's okay. I'm going to bake it. And when I bake it, I'm going to put... I think it's downstairs, but it might be on my desk. I'll have to look because my desk is really messy. I'm going to put it in the oven with a piece of tin foil in here so that the air doesn't get caught inside and then I'm going to put the bottom on and bake it um, and then I'll come back and show you the antiquing but I mean this is it basically I think she's so cute oh also after I bake it I'll pop these off and I'll glue them in so I want to show you that alright so I'll be back for the final all right, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, it's all done. I'm going to zoom in. And we're going to have to glue the wings on, so I'm going to use Glossy Accents. Glossy Accents is a, it says, let's see, clear dimensional medium. All right, but it's, it's basically, it is a glue. It's a very strong glue as well but it leaves a shiny finish uh, on your projects and you can get some cool effects with it um, so like it says glossy accents it's glossy but it is a strong glue I like to use it on polymer clay 
Um, Got to make sure this nozzle is clear. And, oops, I'm just reaching for a pin. Just to clear the nozzle. And I'm going to put some kind of along the edges. And that should do it. Set it back into that indention. Oops, may I close it? Give it a good push. And this takes, let's see if it says specifically, uh, it'll, drying time will depend on the amount of product applied, but it takes a good amount of time to, um, to dry, especially on something like this where it's a, I'm using it for a glue, as a glue. I want to make sure it's dry or it really gets a chance to set. Um, and then I was going to try some, you know what, you can sometimes get this nozzle clear if I just push a little air through it. So that should be clear. Hopefully it'll dry. It won't be clogged. Um, but I have these two Sharpies. This one is a breast cancer awareness, has a little ribbon on it. Um, but there, this is a very, very sheer pink. So I want to, I mean, you can see the chalk, but I think I wanted to just see what this would do. Nothing really. I also was wondering if, see I think I'm going to antique this with, uh, I guess the Payne's Gray. These aren't coming off. These other metal pieces, I kind of try to stick a nail under there, but they're pretty good, see? So that's it. And I mean, I'm pretty happy with her. I think it's a cute little tin. And um, I'm just a little disappointed. Like I said, in the face, it's not as kind of deep etched, deeply etched as these, as this one would have been. So I think I'm going to let that set up, but I am going to antique it. I'll let you see what that looks like. All right, I'll be back. I'm going to let it dry a little bit. All right, she's all done. I antiqued it with the Payne's Gray paint. And I love how it's in. Definitely on the bottom, you can see how it, it stayed in the nooks and crannies. These are much deeper. But I like that. The white isn't really white anymore, but that's okay. It just left it. See the little hearts? You can see the little hearts a little bit. Her face, I'm okay with it now. After I antiqued it, some of the dark color went kind of around the eye. So it, it defined the eye a little bit. I put a little glossy accents on her lips. I added a little bit more cheek color with the chalk. And I like it. I like it a lot. I put some glossy accents on the little um, bits of clay that we put in the sky. And I think it's cute. I'm happy. Another tin. Done. Alright you guys. Thank you so much. Bye bye.